Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Unscripted and Unchained RPG Review. I am Game Master Bloodworth and as you can see by the graphics, uh, today's video is going to be a box opening. I will be opening up Adventures in the Imperium Agents of Dune Deluxe Starter Set. And uh, what I wanted to point out is that uh, I am putting this in the context of this week's uh, video theme that I've been doing. Um, March 4th. Uh, 2008 was the day that uh, Gary Gygax had passed away and uh, March 4th has since then become known as International Game Masters Day and I'm putting this video into the context of my week-long celebration of uh, you know of all of the things that Gary Gygax had brought to the tabletop role-playing hobby uh, and in particular, um, even though Dune has no connection to Dungeons and Dragons, and uh, you know Modiphius and its its game mechanics have no connection to uh, to anything really that Gary Gygax had worked on. However, I still think that this fits extremely well into Gary Gygax's vision of the hobby. Gary Gygax was always a gamer first, and if you've read his books on whether it be the mastery of role playing or the mastery of game mastery, um, one thing that he had always said was that um, you need to expand your exposure to different genres, to different game systems and in different settings uh, where you're running your game. And so that is how I put this so firmly into that context because one of the things that Gary Gygax is really most well known for is his, um, his support for uh, and is his uh, real push uh, for people to run games at conventions. And it is my opinion that um, using deluxe starter sets, uh, especially as you see when I break this open, and you can see in the image there, uh, I want you to imagine that you are walking through all of the vast number of tables that are set up at a convention, and you look down at a table as you're passing by, and you see these kind of materials spread out onto the table, the, the full color, you know, handouts and uh, there'll be a game master screen and, and the rule books and the dice and, and all of this stuff here. These deluxe starter sets are so, uh, so versatile and so enticing to bring people and their attention to that table. And, uh, you know, I believe that they will say, you know, wow, what game is that? You know, that looks really cool. Look at those materials. I've had this experience when, uh, when I ran um, Blade Runner at a convention last year. And I had the, the starter box set with all of the, you know, things. And, and people were genuinely impressed with the handouts and the quality of everything. And they will have... Um, almost certain they will have the same kind of uh, of draw of their attention to this kind of a set and and, and others as well so um, I really do think that uh, in particular these starter sets really do draw more players in uh, to whatever game system they happen to be and so I'm a big big supporter of uh, purchasing starter sets for that particular purpose, for use at your local gaming store or for use at a convention so that other individuals passing by will see it, take notice, and ask questions about it. And that's how you draw them in, uh, not just to that game system, but you'll draw them into the hobby as a whole. Uh, and I think that there's no better thing that you can do um, to really uh, support and push forward 
uh, the legacy and the memory uh, memory of Gary Gygax is by doing that. So without further ado, let's start taking a look at the actual contents in the, um, in the box itself. I'm going to switch views here. Now, I didn't take it fully out of the wrap because I wanted to show that right here on this, it says digital copy core rule book included. All right. So, um, that's something that all gaming companies should do is that if you buy a starter set, you know, from them, they should have the digital copy of the full core rule book in there as well. Um, a great way of packaging it, great way of advertising it as well, because no one, I, I think very few people who are going to decide, all right, I'm going to go pick up this starter set is not then going to eventually look to get their full, um, you know, hardcover or soft cover um, physical copy of the core rules. So I'm going to finish removing this from its plastic wrap. So this is, this is part of Modifius's 2D20 system. Um, it also has, you know, the labels for uh, Legendary, which I believe is the, is the actual uh, IP holder for Dune itself. And uh, you see it's made by Legendary Films and all that. So great, great connection to another phenomenal IP for um, for Manifius. I mean, between them and, um, and Free League, they seem to uh, gobble up these IPs and they do significant things with them. So that's very, very important as well. Um, the box is pretty, is, is, is pretty well sealed. So I've had this with other games as well, other games that had this kind of, uh, you know, it is so well sealed that it's hard to open. Um, and I'm not going to let you sit here and watch me struggle with it. I'm going to pause for a second. Okay. Believe it or not, that, that took maybe another 15, 20 seconds, but it was crazy. Um, you know, so very, very solid cardboard box. As you can see, it seals up pretty darn tight. Here we have a uh, Agents of Dune campaign setting. Uh, read this first. So we have a little read this first, and then um, it goes over and talks about all the components that are within here. <laughs> and then um, a quick, a quick like a cheat sheet for running at, uh, you know, for running the game. So I would make copies of this and hand this out to each player at the table as well. That way they can, you know, they can see how the rules working, um, you know, right at their side. So very, very quick reference sheet. So that's the first item on the very top. Then here is the Agents of Doom adventure book. So here we have, and, and this is a pretty... Uh, a pretty big book here, 115 pages for the adventure. And on the back page of this adventure, there is a link, which I'm not going to show, but there's a link for the PDF all right, um, that is individualized to your particular box set. So you can not only have it here, but then you can print out the PDF and you'll have it uh, there as well. Um, as it's nice sometimes to have it on the PDF in case you want to print out a page and add some of your own notes onto it um, or, um, or just create different displays of things for your players as well. Now we have uh, these... Uh, these aren't character sheets. These are like character portfolios, right? So um, it has very, very basic stats on the front uh, description. And then here we get into the actual character sheet. And then on the back is the, you know, is the drives. And, and again, I would, um, I would use the PDF 
to then make copies of this so that you can keep your originals pretty pretty intact. Uh, you could use heavyweight card, you know, uh, cardstock almost or like a 60 pound um, copy paper to make these, you know, as sturdy as they are here. But I uh, really like that. You could also shrink them down to size so it's a little bit smaller. Now, at a convention, I would certainly have both. All right. I would want the players, you know, if I was pretty pretty certain the players weren't going to be um, abusive of them, I would uh, let them use these. But I'd also make a backup set as well. So, uh, so that was one, two... So far, three characters. This is a Mentat advisor. Here is a Swordmaster. Um, so that was two, three, uh, four. Here is a Bene Gesserit spy master. So five, uh, five pre-generated characters. Now we have a a card here. And this card here has uh, momentum use and adding to threat. Uh, this is just rules that, um, so momentum use is for the player and adding threat is for the game master. So you would set this down on the table so that it's facing both the game master and the, um, and the players. And then here is uh, spice harvesting. And it looks like a, a tracker. It's, it seems to be a tracker where you would put um, from starting and then once you've finished up, because um, I know there's tokens in here as well. Um, Arrakis system. So here is a kind of a trifold talks about Arrakis the, the entire system. This is a very heavy duty cardboard. Um, this is a handout. So it's kind of, they would read it, the players would read it, and it gives them like a, you know, a report. So it's compiled by Zobis, uh, Kobus Zong, Mentat to House Harkonnen. And then it's a report ad. So yeah, very heavy, very heavy paper weight here. Here's another handout. And you can make copies of this and, and you know, you have, you have the features to add your own text to it and such, and, and you can utilize it elsewhere. So here are the, um, here are the, tokens that I believe you'll use on that that tracking this appears to be a a map um, that's an external map and then here is uh, a map for internal um, Furnace and ingot storage, general machinery, um, now you're seeing my reaction to this because I'm looking at this for the very first time as well. So here is a dueling map and on the other side is a negotiation map. So again imagine this being laid out on the table for the passers-by to take a look at it and to see it for the first time, um, you know, there's a lot of really cool stuff in here. And then you're going to add the other components that you might already have as well, whether it be the Game Master screen or the full rule book as well. Uh, so these are for, these are stands for the, the character cards. It comes with uh, two decks of cards. Um, so 
I know some of these are going to be character cards and then you set them in there so that you'll have the character cards that you can place. And uh, I will open this up and see what this deck is. Uh, I see that there's a kind of a type of uh, dart gun on the one on the one card here. So so here is a here is a dart gun, and then it's stats on the back. So we have a para compass. And if you've seen the, mo the recent movies, you'll know of these things. A poison snooper. Uh, so I guess that's to, to detect poisons. A crimscale scale fiber rope. A pulse sword. A pulse sword. Um, a mola pistol. There's more than one of those cards here. Um, a glow go globe. Go blah. Glow globe, <laughs> um, a memo quarter, emergency transmitter, transmitter, a personal shield, a personal shield. Um, these might be for for doing the, that uh, dueling combat as well. Um, but there's, you know, a number of different cards. Then we go with. Uh, now this is an NPC card, so a Harkonnen soldier, and then it gives you the stats of a Harkonnen soldier, the House Nagara soldier, a spice smuggler. So these are your NPCs and everything, and you, you can put these on the stands and you can place these out on the table so that the, you know, the players can see what they're dealing with. There's quite a few spice smugglers. Then there's a, uh, a Fremen Naib, uh, Musa, Haran, uh, Haran is a Fremen warrior. Uh, this is a Bene Gesserit um, Reverend Mother. So you have all of these, uh, all of these different character cards that you can use on those stands as well, and then a set of the. Um, the Arrakis. So these are the Arrakis dice, the, the basic die that comes with it. It is five, five D20s. So that's pretty much the most of the D20s that you'll end up needing to use in the game. Um, so that's, uh, that's nice. And the, the box that it comes in has the, the different trays. So you can, you can definitely lay out your cards here and uh, set up your cards. They'll, they'll stay in place even if you take them out of the plastic wrap. And then you can put your your dice and your stands in the separate. And then the whole thing packs up again. And I will just do reverse order. Um, so really, really nice high quality stuff here. Um, again, once this is all fully displayed on the table, um, I have no doubt that you will draw the attention of passersby. And uh, now I picked up the, you know, to get this, this was currently on sale for 30% off on the, um, you know, at their website, at the Modifius website. Then with a humble bundle, I picked up uh, 18, uh, no, 17 PDFs for $18. But along with those, one of the PDFs was a coupon, 50% off any item. So, uh, select items, I'm sorry, select items on the Modifius website. So I went to the Modifius website, um, you know, to its Dune section, obviously. And so this would have normally been $56 or so. And then it was 30% 30, uh, 30 off, so it was like $40. Then I was able to apply the 50% off another item. And so I got this for $20, bucks, uh, plus shipping and handling, which was about $8.00. So $28 for something that was normally, you know, $56. So it's, 
it's almost exactly 50% off overall. So um, super excited. Really glad to have gotten this. Looking forward to reading through it because Dune has a lot of reading. And when I go to uh, start doing the, the, um, the reviews of the, uh, the core rule book and such, um, you know, hopefully this will be an easier access to that information. And then when I go there, it'll just fill it out. Um, a lot of lore reading now. I've, I've only listened to the original Dune book. Um, and now I've seen the two most recent movies. I, of course, saw the, the older movie, the 1984 um, Dune movie, which was phenomenal as well. I highly recommend that you look into this. Um, I'm, I'm really hopeful that uh, with the release of part two, that um, we'll see a bigger push for this. Plus, on top of that, Modiphius is coming out with a new campaign book. Um, you know, very shortly, I would assume. Hopefully, it's, it's very soon to piggyback off of the movie. Um, but, uh, you know, that's really, uh, you know, really encouraging because it's clear that um, they at least have more time with the, um, you know, with the IP and so that they'll be able to continue to produce even more and more for this system. Uh, I'm a big fan of the 2D20 system, um, especially when it links up with, uh, with certain IPs where it works extremely well. Um, the 2D20 system, if you're not familiar with it, uh, allows for very cinematic play. And, um, you know, it's streamlined, it's very quick. And then with its use of momentum and, um, you know, and uh, challenges, uh, challenge cards are Doom, they're called Doom in, uh, in Conan 2D20. Uh, with that system of... Uh, it, it helps to actually move the action even uh, even more so cinematically and, and you know it just becomes so much more epic as you're going through uh, as you're going through your adventuring and everything and you're gaining momentum with high you know with very good roles and such and and when you exceed the number uh, of uh, successes and your targets that's how it really works um, you might need two successes and then you roll your dice and, and if you have five successes, you're going to generate, you know, five, mo uh, three momentum points. And now those can be used to further enhance your next action or to, um, you know, to do some truly extraordinary things beyond that. And that's the way the system kind of works. It's, it's, it's almost like, <coughs> excuse me, it's almost like an exploding dice pool. Um, just that uh, it allows you to um, spend the points in a different way. Um, you know, your choice, how, how they will be spent. And, uh, and that leads to a really dynamic, again, cinematic um, experience at the table. So... Really looking forward to actually running this at a convention. Uh, this won't be at my next convention in April, but I can certainly see running this at uh, at ShireCon in uh, September or October. I got to nail down exactly when that was. I know originally it was on one set of dates and at a particular place, and then it had to be moved for um, for some reason, and I think it moved by weekend as well. So um, I think it's still September, October, um, but I'm not sure which, uh, which month it is. It might be uh, early October, so I'll, I'll take a look at it. But anyway, thanks for joining. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please feel free to leave your comments and questions in the uh, section there. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Uh, I will be, uh, I'm playing tonight. I'm running uh, my Call of Cthulhu campaign tonight. And then tomorrow, I'm actually playing in a, uh, you know, a, a dungeon master that I know he's running. He's starting up a new D&D Beck Me uh, 
campaign setting uh, and, and campaign uh, starting tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that. Me as a player, you know, always looking forward to that. And, uh, and he's a great DM too. So really excited about that. And then tomorrow night, I am going to be doing a live stream where I'm celebrating the channel hitting 3,200 subscribers and I'll be doing some giveaways and you can look uh, ahead at the live stream and look at the details, um, the description of the live stream and you'll see exactly what we're, we're talking about um, and, and what is going to be, you know, potentially the giveaways that, that take place. Um, also, tomorrow night's live stream is going to be kind of like an open door uh, live stream. You can come to me with your topics and then I will respond to your topics. So that's how I kind of wanted to do it um, so I can hear what, what other people have on their minds. Um, and maybe some of you will come in and you'll talk about how you celebrated the memory of Gary Gygax's passing and uh, Game Master, uh, game, International Game Master Week. Um, I call it a week, not a day, because it, you should be celebrating it the entire week of March 4th. So have a great day. Enjoy your weekend. I know it's Friday, so, uh, you know, happy early weekend and, uh, you know, keep those dice rolling. And I look forward to seeing you on a gaming screen or at a gaming table sometime soon. You have a great rest of your day. Take care.